Good evening YouTube. So I've been trying to get my head around the user specified battery charging parameters in these EP Solar MPPT charge controllers. I have the 4215BN but this uh, feature is common in quite a few of the newer model EP Solar design controllers. I know the uh, Tracer A series has that user mode. So this is the uh, parameters that you can set and I'll read those for my charge controller. And then down here you've got a bunch of voltages. There's six voltages here and then you've got another six over here. So there's actually a total of 12 voltages that you can specify and then over here there's two time durations. The problem with this screen is these are all mixed up. They're not in order and it's really confusing how they're all set. With this uh, solar station monitoring program you can bring up the help screen and when you do that you get this page can't be displayed but it's actually all there if you click here and expand each subsection and if you go down here for instance to parameter and control parameter you get a really nice description of these parameters and how you can set them and whatnot so let's look at that so here's the same dialog box and then down here you've got seal, gel, flooded and user user can modify voltage controlling point and then voltage controlled charging or state of charge controlled charging. And then you've got battery amp hour, temperature compensation, auto voltage, and then these two values seem to be unchangeable. I don't know what they actually do. Then here is the description of these charging parameters. Various voltages and then you have these two times down here and this gives you the 12 volt lead acid value and I think these are pretty much in order here from highest to lowest and then if you come down here there's five rules as to which one is higher than the next one so you've got greater than and then this is actually greater than or equal to and so they have these various rules there's five rules on which voltage is greater than or greater than or equal to what other uh, value. So what I tried to do, I put this in a spreadsheet. The five rules are in these columns A, B, C, D, and E. And then I have the voltage listed in order from largest to smallest. So there's this is the first rule, the second rule, so what that says is the over voltage cutoff value or voltage has to be higher than the over voltage recovery voltage. So it says if it goes above a certain set point it shuts everything off and then if it goes below a set point it turns things back on and in that case it turns off the PV or the charging feature in the charge controller, it also turns off the load and I'll show you that in a bit. This uh, rule C or the third rule, there's a low voltage recovery voltage and a low voltage cutoff voltage as well as a discharge limit and that turns the DC load on and off and then there's this discharge limit if you go below that everything shuts off and then likewise there's this warning low voltage warning and a warning recovery voltage so the low voltage warning which turns on an LED is higher than the low voltage cutoff point and then this rule E basically says the raise or what they call boost mode recovery voltage has to be higher than the low voltage cutoff. But anyway, the, these two things are related. These two things are related. This turns an LED on and off. This turns the load on and off. 
this turns the whole controller on and off but it doesn't have anything to do with charging so if we go over to rule A that's where all the charging is specified again you've got your over voltage cutoff then you've got the charging voltage limit the equalization voltage the raise or boost so boost is what they call it in the uh, charge controller manual raise is what they call it in the uh, settings file and for lithium batteries that's like your constant voltage or saturation charge or sometimes they call it absorption charge and then there's also bulk charge which is your constant current so I think the charging limit voltage is what determines bulk charge so you when you first start out in the morning you're in bulk mode and you charge the battery up until you hit the charge voltage limit and then you switch over to either equalization or boost voltage and you can set these all actually equal to each other so I'll, I'll show you my voltages over here in a bit but the idea is you hit the charge voltage limit then you switch to the boost voltage value and then you run that for a certain number of minutes and then you switch over to float charge and then if you drop below the boost or raise recover voltage or reconnect voltage you go back to boost mode let's say just to show you one neat little thing i found here so if you go over here to parameter there's also a lithium battery parameter and over here apparently some of their charge controllers also support a lithium battery profile they have lithium battery you've got lithium iron phosphate and then the lithium ion battery and then you've got your user mode so under the regular lithium they have 3s and 6s and under lithium iron phosphate they have 4 and 8 so what I did was I took like the 3s values that they have in this profile and I put those over in my spreadsheet here and so what I did I, I'm running 4s and 4 volts per cell so what I do is I have my over voltage cutoff at 16.4 I have the all of the other charging voltages at 16.1 and that results in a, right at 16 volts at the battery terminal yeah I have the float at 16 and then if it drops below 15.8 I go back up to boost charge and then I have uh, the warning at 12.5 the cutoff at 12.4 and then the discharge limit at 12 that's that and let me show you a couple of uh, traces here so this is the current and today what I was doing was I had the over voltage cutoff set to 16.2 and you can see here there was several times it cut off right there one two three and then it turned right back on because I was still in bulk charge I was still under 16 volts and here you can see I got up to like 16.28 even though I had the maximum charging voltage at 16.1 so I guess it does overshoot the value a little bit and then here I was in boost mode or constant voltage charging it shut off and it stayed shut off because the battery was at 16 volts no load no charging it just stayed at 16 volts until I went in and then I changed my parameters I went from 16.2 up to 16.4 and then I raised the uh, reconnect voltage up I think I actually bumped this up to 15.9 no I think I actually went up to 16 because otherwise you can get stuck here because it'll your battery will be at 16 volts the controller shuts off and until that battery self discharges or you go in and reset it it's going to stay off so I had to reset it and then it worked fine the rest of the day so that's the over voltage cutoff it cuts off 
blue is the load and red is the PV or charging current and you can see it shut off everything so there's that and then the other day I was playing with the boost and float charge so here is the in the morning this is your bulk charging comes up to here and at that point that's when it hits like 16 volts so this is where it goes into boost or constant voltage charging it holds it at 16 volts and then the current tapers off towards zero and then at this point the time expired and it went into float charge and in float charge it seems to just kind of try to keep it right around zero so I've been kind of playing with the numbers just seeing what happens here and that's the only way you can really figure out how things work and that's that's where I found out they turn off both the load and the charging if you go over voltage and then it stays off until you can get below this recovery or reconnect voltage but yeah hopefully that'll help uh, you know if anybody's looking at uh, using one of these with lithium batteries I've done the over voltage cutoff I've also the first couple of days I hit the under voltage cutoff and then I've got the bulk to boost to float and then back to boost charging working here. In fact, you can see that here. This was back boost, then it went to float, and then it went to boost charge, but this was late enough in the day that the panel output was less than the load. So the load was up here. The PV output was down here, so I was actually pulling like four amps out of the battery. So yeah, I think all of this is working pretty good. I've got a pretty good handle on these parameters. So if anybody else has uh, done any testing or configuration with this, feel free to post up in the comment section down below there. And if anybody's interested in this spreadsheet, I can upload it to my Google Drive page and put a link in the video description. So let me know if you want to see that. And as always, thanks for watching.